Hi uh, YouTube, welcome to another video from Colorado Prepper. So I don't know if you've ever heard the term before, the emperor's new clothes. Um, as I understand it, it goes like this. Uh, so the emperor was wandering around naked, and someone said, look, the emperor is naked. And somebody else said, oh, that's just the emperor's new clothes. When you deny the manifest reality, the plain facts staring you in the face that the world is going to hell in a handbasket, you are saying, that's the emperor's new clothes. Um, look, the world is getting worse and worse as the weeks go by. I don't know what's going to happen next. Um, but uh, I, I don't see good things for us in 2021. I see more and more disaster, um, more, and more and more of a, of a, of a great depression, um, even chaos in the streets, uh, all kinds of uh, civil unrest and uh, disasters and things like that. That's what I, that's what I see in store for us. And... Um, if you don't see it already happening, it is beginning to happen very, very, very gradually, but it is beginning to happen that the shit is starting to hit the fan. Um, to deny this is to say, oh, that's just the emperor's new clothes. Um, it's, it's pretty obvious to me that uh, the plain facts of the situation are, are the world is going to hell in a handbasket. Um, I've bugged out on my per, uh, own personal SHGF. Um, I put on my bug-up bag and went to live in the streets of uh, Denver, Colorado. Um, I didn't use any benefits, um, no uh, food stamps, nothing like that. Um, what got me through it mainly was the, de the generosity of the Denverites who really came through for me and gave me a lot to eat and gave me lots of money and things like that. Um, uh, but uh, I got to put my skill set to the test. I survived temperatures as low as 15 below zero. Two nights in a row, the temperatures got 15 below zero, um, and I did not go to shelter, and, and I survived it. I put my skills to the test, and put my gear to the test, and things like that. Um, now, uh, living off the land is not so impossible as people say. So three, three days without water. Well, my region is full of ponds and creeks. Um, three three. Hours in uh, bad weather without shelter. Well, you can erect a tarp shelter in a matter of 15 minutes. Three weeks without food. Um, well, that's a large swath of time in which to find something to eat. Living off the land is not so impossible as people say. And remaining in the cities is a mistake. Uh, the, there's less food in the cities. What, what resources there are are likely to be snapped up by others very, very quickly. Um, the streets will be full of roving bands of marauders and cannibals. Um, the survivors of the apocalypse will be found in the wilderness and rural regions. Um, it's a mistake to remain in the cities. There's a window of opportunity in which to get away safely, and that window cl closes very, very quickly as the uh, cities become full of marauders and cannibals. Like I said, there is a window to escape safely, but you have to take it, uh, take it um, er early in the uh, disaster. Um, now, most Americans don't live in um, a region that's very close to the wilderness, I know. If you don't, um, and I, I do live uh, within hiking distance to uh, the Rocky Mountains, but if you don't live in, within... Um, hiking distance to the Rocky Mountains or any other wilderness area, um, you'll need a bug out vehicle. Um, I, I would recommend a truck with locked compartments, um, something like that. But if you're going to need a vehicle, you're going to need um, to put several cans of gasoline locked away in your vehicle, put uh, water, food, and survival gear locked away in your vehicle. And I recommend installing a heavy iron grill in the front. Um, in order to push, push stalled cars out of the road. Um, also, uh, get a CB radio as well. Um, and overall, uh, more, more important than anything, get out quickly. Get out uh, in the beginning of the crisis because the window of safety will close very, very quickly. Um, that being said, um, as far as I'm concerned, I live within hiking distance to the Rocky Mountains, so luckily I don't have to uh, bother with a vehicle, which is beyond my uh, budget anyhow. Um, 
any case, um, hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, remember, the emperor is naked. Peace out.